Good evening. Mr. Volpe, members of the Board of Education, families, and distinguished guests. My name is Jessica Smedley, and I have the distinct honor and privilege to welcome select members of Hillsborough High School's class of 2023 who have been chosen as senior award recipients. Please join me in welcoming them to this evening's ceremony. There's something here. Please stand and oops. Please stand and welcome members of the Triad Music Honor Society, led by Mr. Nicholas Clipperton and the singing of the national anthem. If 
Tonight, we are here to honor and celebrate the achievements of many students in Hillsborough High School's class of 2023. These talented seniors will re represent us at dozens of colleges and universities and in our community next fall. I am thrilled to announce that we will be awarding over $100,000 in scholarships and awards this evening. I'd like to take a moment to thank each and each and every one of our donors for their generous contributions to the scholarship program. Our deserving students will use these award monies to pursue many post-secondary ventures. Please welcome to the stage, Ms. Lauren Kedash, fine arts teacher at Hillsborough High School to start our awards. Good evening, families and seniors. Can you be okay? I have the pleasure of presenting six awards from the Fine Arts Department. I teach photography and I run our chapter of the National Art Honor Society. And while I did not necessarily nominate all these awards, the really special part about this for me is I know all six recipients extremely well because I've worked with them for several years. Um, I'd like to start off with the National Art Honor Society Scholarship. This award is given to a student who has demonstrated outstanding leadership in the Hillsborough High School chapter of the National Art Honor Society. I am pleased to recognize Olivia Padrush, who has dedicated countless hours as president of Art Honor Society to make sure that our events and meetings ran smoothly. Olivia has participated in art classes at the high school every year, including AP Art History, Video and Film, Advanced Video and Film, Photography, fashion design, digital and graphic arts, and cartooning and animation. Olivia's dedication to the arts on top of a very rigorous schedule of APs has provided an excellent example for our other members of NAHS. She has tremendous leadership skills, and I look forward to seeing all that she accomplishes at Johns Hopkins University as a biology and film major next fall. Congratulations and thank you for all you've done for NAHS. The next award I'm going to present is the Irma Pressey Scholarship. The Irma Pressey Scholarship is awarded to a student who has shown exemplary involvement in the arts at Hillsborough High School. It is my pleasure to present this award to Alyssa Rivera. Alyssa is a two-year member of the National Art Honor Society and is always ready to volunteer. Anytime that anyone in the group needs assistance, Alyssa is there to help. They have participated in all our events and is often the first to arrive and the last to leave. Alyssa is also an extremely active member of our department as a whole and has taken AP2D design, advanced drawing, cartooning and animation, digital and graphic arts, and art one. Alyssa plans to continue on to RVCC and hopes to pursue a career in illustration. Congratulations, Alyssa, and I wish you all the best. The next four are departmental awards. Um, first is Outstanding Achievement in Photography, and we have two recipients for this. So in no particular order, the first recipient is Tyler Basin. Our second recipient is Carly Schwartz. Next, we have Outstanding Achievement in Sculpture. This award is given to Gianna Trevino. The last one I'm presenting is Outstanding Achievement in Visual Art. This award goes to Mira Das. Thank you, have a good evening.
Please welcome Ms. Michelle Tuck to present the Hillsboro Girl Scout Experience Award sponsored by Girl Scout Service Unit 72. Girl Scouts of the United States is the largest leadership organization for girls in the world and has been serving girls for an incredible 111 years. Our current membership includes 1.9 million girls and over 800,000 adult volunteers. Girl Scouts has a strong focus on building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. I am Michelle Tuck, our Hillsboro Girl Scouts Co-Service Unit Manager, and with one of our graduating troop leaders, Heather Boucher, we're proud to serve Hillsboro Township with over 400 Girl Scouts and almost 350 awesome adult volunteers. This year, we have 23 graduating high school seniors still participating in Girl Scouts. We congratulate all 23 of you and hope that after you graduate, you remember to carry the Girl Scout mission of G-I-R-L with you. And we promise the go-getter, innovator, risk taker, and leader will contribute to your future success. Due to a generous donation this year from the Richmond Foundation, we're honored to provide six $500 scholarships this evening. These scholarships go to the Girl Scouts who best described how Girl Scouts will influence my future. On behalf of Girl Scouts, Heart of New Jersey and Hillsboro Service Unit 72, we're Girl Scout honored to present our scholarships to Charlotte Bruche, Rebecca Gear. Amanda Gianetti, Kylie Marley, Claire Murphy, and Kira Pinto. Congratulations. Please welcome Ms. Jane Stats to the stage to present the Hillsboro High School Faculty and Staff Memorial Scholarship. The Hillsboro High School Faculty and Staff Memorial Scholarship honors the memory of HHS staff members who have passed away. Each of them served the students in their own way, often with enthusiasm and passion. Like them, this year's recipient has demonstrated a strong work ethic, empathy, and service to others in various ways, as a student, as an athlete, and as a community volunteer. Congratulations to the 2023 recipient of the HHS Faculty and Staff Memorial Scholarship, Shane Donahue. Please welcome Mrs. Christine Kelderman to present the Nicholas J. Boris Jr. Scholarship. Good evening and congratulations, class of 2023. My name is Christine Kelderman. Welcome parents, staff members, and fellow presenters. 17 years ago, I watched my dear cousin's scholarship being given for the first time as a 2006 graduate of Hillsborough High School. And I'm honored to continue keeping his memory alive through this scholarship. As a 17 year old, I don't think I truly understood what loss was until that fateful morning when we found out that we lost Nicholas in a tragic car accident just weeks before our graduation. Becoming a mother myself, the profound loss of the bright light, easy humor, and loving nature of my dear cousin Nicholas hits harder than ever. I think the last few years have taught us 
many lessons. And hopefully each of you truly appreciate the opportunities that you have and the people that give you love and support in your journey. I strongly encourage you to not only express your gratitude, but to hug the family members, loved ones, and friends who have guided you to this point because tomorrow is promised to no one. Don't leave anything left unsaid and any kind action left undone. Each one of you has the opportunity to make your mark, make it a positive one. Nicholas did not get his opportunity to pursue his career in law enforcement and devote his life to the service of others, but his memory shall live on forever in our hearts. It is my great honor to present his scholarship of $1,500 to a senior who plans to pursue a life of service to our community and world. Um, I'm very excited for this one because I know this student personally. Congratulations to Clay L. Correa. Please welcome Mr. Ron Yoder and Ms. Samantha Hand from the Hillsborough Democratic Alliance to present the Ann Iannone Memorial Scholarships. Good evening, Hillsborough students, parents, faculty, staff, and members of the community. This is Samantha Hand. My name is Ron Yoder. We are here on behalf of the Hillsborough Democratic Alliance to present four scholarships in memory of Anne Iannone, who was a friend and leader for many years here in Hillsborough. Anne represented the best in civic leadership. She was always positive, passionate, and people-oriented. She had an amazing ability to bring people together for the common good. She did this by listening carefully, speaking respectfully and wisely, and reminding everybody about what was truly important. She never hesitated to step forward when help was needed, and she inspired other people to do the same. She was kind, caring, a generous mentor, and a friend to the entire community. Sam? It is in her spirit that the Hillsborough Democratic Alliance awards scholarships to students who have made an impact on their world and learn leadership skills that would generate positive impacts in the future. This year, our scholarships go to students who are activists, advocates, instructors, educators, encouragers, mentors, problem solvers, and change agents in a variety of endeavors. With thanks and congratulations to all of the students here tonight and the parents and teachers who brought them to this point, here are our scholarship recipients. Saray Fofana. Ariane. Vitzal Shaw. Nishant Shaw. And Tyler Montgomery. Thank you. Please welcome Ashley Rose from the Rotary Club of Hillsboro to the stage to present the next award. Oh, 
I see a lot of Rotary people. So we'll just welcome the whole club up here. Come on up. Thank you. I think it's uh, easy to tell that I'm not Ashley Rose. <laughs> She had a conflict this evening, so uh, she asked if I would uh, give her, her remarks. Uh, my name is Rich Salem, uh, and joining me on stage this evening are fellow members of the Rotary Club, Amrick Sahoda, Al Catalina, Trish Marciano, Josh Riding, and Ben Rosenblatt. And we're here today to present scholarships to six exceptional students. And I have this feeling we have a stage full of exceptional students behind me. The Rotary Club is providing a scholarship in association, is also providing a scholarship in association with the Organization for Autism Research, OAR. And our township administrator, Anthony Ferrara, will uh, make that presentation later. This evening, each Rotary scholarship winner will receive a check for $2,000. The Rotary Club is having its own award ceremony on July 19th at the Landing Restaurant in Hillsboro. At that ceremony, each student will receive a scholarship certificate as well as a letter of congratulation. Before I invite the six Rotary Club scholarship winners to join me, I would like to take a few minutes to explain what these scholarships are, how we selected the recipients, and what we expect from them. The Rotary Club scholarship awards are based on academic performance, community service, extracurricular activities, and leadership experience. Each applicant also had to write a one-page essay on their involvement in community service. Our scholarships are named in memory of club members who were leaders in our community. These members were Dick Skillman, Pete Biondi, Mike Merdinger, Fred Quick, and Vince Lapani, all of whom served on multiple township and county committees. Dick Skillman was an attorney and a founding member of our club over 60 years ago. Peter Briandi, whose name graces our municipal building, served as our mayor, township committeeman, and member of the New Jersey Assembly. Mike Merdiger was a beloved township administrator and past president of the Flagtown Fire Department. Fred Quick, a retired Air Force Colonel, owns Hesco Lighting and served on various township and county commissions. And Vince Lapani, a lifelong member of Hillsboro, founded Central Jersey Nurseries. We received a large number of applications for the six scholarships. Each application was re reviewed by three club members. All the applications were excellent, and selecting only six of them was a very difficult task. The scholarships we are offering for educational purposes, and we expect the students to use them accordingly. We are a community service organization. And we hope that those students will continue to take a leading role in community service activities during their college and throughout their lives. It's now my pleasure to present the Rotary Club Scholarship Awards. As I mentioned at the beginning, the scholarship certificates and the congratulation letters will be presented at our award ceremony on July 19th. When I call your name, please come to the stage or come up front and collect your award. I will mention the scholarships that each student is receiving. Emily Cow, the Fred D. Quick Scholarship. Samantha Flame, the Peter J. Biondi Scholarship. Pooja Padilla, a Dick Skillman Scholarship. Kylie Kinahan, the Vincent Lapani Scholarship. Caitlin Lamada, the Vince Lapani Scholarship. And Allison Lee, the Michael Merdinger Scholarship. Congratulations. 
Thank you very much. And please one more round of applause to that one. Can I ask uh, a volunteer? <laughs> Thank you. The student to first off shares and get that check. Thank you. <laughs> Please welcome Laura Narotsky to the podium to present the Lisa Narotsky Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the Sunny Mead Benevolent Association. Good evening. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you at Sunnymead Elementary for your unwavering support of this scholarship in honor of Lisa and Rose. A special thank you as well to Principal Tammy Jenkins for her exceptional dedication. I owe my aspiration to become a teacher to my mother, an elementary school teacher herself. She instilled in me a love for education and played a pivotal role in shaping my path. I vividly recall spending countless hours in her classroom watching her create a vibrant and engaging le learning environment. I admire the way she connected with her students through endless preparation, unwavering composure, and genuine kindness. Later on during high school award ceremonies, former students would share heartfelt stories of how my mother had profoundly impacted their lives. Unfortunately, my mother passed away from breast cancer in 2010 when I was just nine years old. However, the memories of her as a teacher and the profound influence she had on her students greatly influenced me leading me to consider education as my own career. During my mother's challenging battle with cancer, I was blessed to encounter numerous exceptional educators who showcased both their teaching skills and their remarkable humanity. From my mother's colleagues, principals, and school psychologists, coaches, and my own elementary school teachers, these individuals genuinely cared on me and my well-being. Despite the difficulties I faced at home, they offered their open arms, lending an empathetic ear, providing unwavering support. Their boundless care and compassion have further strengthened my resolve to follow in their footsteps, to become not only like them, but also to impact the lives of students like myself. For the past decade, the essay prompt for this scholarship has asked how our elementary school experiences have shaped our lives and how we plan to incorporate those experiences into our future endeavors. Tonight, we gather here to honor all the previous recipients of this scholarship, and I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to this year's deserving winner whose passion lies in helping others succeed, especially those in the military. Influenced by her family, this year's recipient plans to fight the stigma around mental health in the military and create programs to help the men and women who fight for our country. May your future endeavors be filled with resounding success. Now, please join me in a moment of applause as we recognize and honor this year's recipient, Angelina Bella Huff. <laughs> Please welcome Faith Scavron to present the Rose Marie Scavron Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the Sunny Mead Benevolent Association and her dad. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Faith Scavron, and I'm here with my dad to present the Rosemary Scavron Memorial Scholarship. 
on May 4th, 2013, my mom passed away after her fight through stomach cancer. My mom taught me many lessons about perseverance and how to treat others. She was a prime example on how being kind could change someone's life. Throughout her life, she accomplished many things. She was a first and then second grade teacher at Sunny Meat Elementary School. While she also competed in bodybuilding and coached tennis here at HHS, all while making a family of her own. She put her all into everything she did and wanted to help anyone she saw. She especially cared for her students' well being in and out of the classroom. She did everything in her power to make sure her students had the tools to succeed, and my dad and I have presenting this award for the last nine years. However, this year is different. This class, my graduating class, was the last group of students she ever taught. Throughout the last 10, throughout the last 10 years since she's passed, I've been told stories by her former students of how she impacted their lives. This year's scholarship recipient expressed how my mom touched their life by encouraging them to pursue their academics further in school. This scholarship recipient has also shown the same qualities as my mom in being kind towards everyone and helping anyone they could. With that being said, this year's scholarship recipient of the Rosemary Scabron Memorial Scholarship is Tommy Perowski. Please welcome to the stage Ms. Tony Natale, Jim Brew, and Catherine Payne to present the Peter J. Biondi Memorial Scholarship sponsored by the Hillsborough Republican. It was hard to follow, just saying. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Catherine Payne. This is Jim Rue. We're here on behalf of the um, Hillsborough Republican Club. For the 16th consecutive year, the Hillsborough Republican Club is pleased to award this scholarship. Applicants were required to submit an essay and 37 applied. The scholarship is dedicated to Peter J. Biondi, a longtime resident of Hillsborough, who was dedicated to the township, to his country, and a strong believer in the United States and what it stands for. We proudly award this year's scholarship to Amanda Giannetti. Please welcome Ashley Johnson, AVP and Branch Manager of Lakeland Bank to present the Lakeland Charities Scholarship. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to all of today's recipients. Lakeland Bank Charity has hosted its annual scholarship golf outing for 49 years. Over that time, we have awarded over $3 million to local students pursuing a higher education. We strongly believe that access to an affordable college education is crucial for a vibrant and economically healthy community. In 2022, we raised more than 225,000 dollars, allowing us to award over 140 scholarships to local students in 2023. It is with great pleasure that we are able to provide an award to so many well-deserving and academically successful students. Congratulations to the 2023 scholarship recipient, Alma Chan Olan, and much success in the
Please welcome Anthony Ferreira and Shannon McRae to present the Rotary Club of Hillsborough OAR New Jersey Scholarship. Thank you again, uh, Anthony Ferreira from OAR New Jersey chapter and Shannon McRae, um, also my partner in uh, Ward, New Jersey, as well as a third and fourth grade teacher from uh, Woodburn. So we're very happy to be here this evening and very thankful for the Hillsborough Rotary. Um, I believe they're the one and only uh, organization in New Jersey that is supporting high school when it comes to scholarships uh, for special needs uh, students. So we're extremely happy this is many years that we've been doing this. Uh, for those of you that know, the world is around here in, in New Jersey. All of our services are free to students, parents, um, and educators. So we're all made up of volunteers throughout the United States. So uh, we're extremely happy to uh, present the award this evening. And um, no further ado, Shannon. Hello, we're excited to present Ria Deary with a $2,000 scholarship from OAR, OAR, Organization for Autism Research, New Jersey. Um, Ria is going to Rutgers in the fall and she plans to study biology um, and plans to dedicate her further research to ADHD, Asperger's, and helping others achieve her dreams. So we're very excited to present her this award. Please one, welcome Linda Cummings from the Hillsborough Education Foundation to present the next award. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2023. Um, Hillsborough Education Foundation has been supporting the Hillsborough schools for 27 years now through grants and gifts. Um, Every year we do a senior scholarship, and this year we had 93 applicants. So it was a very tough decision for us, and we thank everyone who applied. Um, but this year's winner, as, elect, as voted by the trustees, is Emily Tao. So congratulations. <laughs> Please welcome Mrs. Julian Anderson, Hillsborough High School English teacher, and Mrs. Ellen Weller, Hillsborough High School Spanish teacher, to present the Student Diversity Initiative Leadership Awards. The Student Diversity Leadership Scholarship is awarded to students who strive to promote discussion, education, and awareness of diversity issues in order to make an impact in our school and our community. These students have worked hard this year to cultivate conversations at every level to shift perspectives and challenge prejudice within our community. They have each taken personal responsibility in helping make Hillsborough High School a safer, more equitable, and fairer place for students of all backgrounds and all identities. This year, the four seniors we are honoring have participated in clubs, hosted events, and worked hard to promote equity and to combat discrimination. They have worked with peers, administrators, and teachers to help make lasting changes in the school community. We are awarding the Student Diversity Leadership Scholarships to four distinguished school community members. Our recipients are Rupa Sheikh. Nia Smart, okay. Danny Biondi. Wow. 
Ray Fofana. Mm -hmm. Please welcome Dr. Lori Lopez Lopez to the stage to present the next two awards. Good evening. The Thomas Enos Award is given to students who have demonstrated academic achievement despite adversity. In the amount of $300 each, we have two recipients this evening, Nora Holler. And Jason Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> the Raider All-Star Award, HEA Children's Philanthropic Fund Award, is given to a student who has demonstrated passion, compassion, and perseverance. This year's recipient, in the amount of $500, is Adam Turab. Please welcome Ms. Brenda Marley to the stage representing the Hillsboro Home and School Forum. Good evening. On behalf of the Hillsboro Home and School Forum, I'd like to congratulate the student who has shown leadership and community service for at least two years and will be attending a two or four year college. Congratulations to Ryan Vladica for his volunteerism and community service. I'd also like to present the Anthony Rodano Scholarship sponsored by the Hills or High School Home and School Forum. This scholarship is presented to a student who has also shown leadership and community service for at least two years and is pursuing a goal, or the goal is to center around education. Congratulations to Anastasia Ramirez and best of luck in your future endeavors. Please welcome Melissa File and her daughters to present the Chris File Foundation Scholarship. And they brought props. <laughs> brought some props. I see. <laughs> they brought they brought props, and not my daughters. Good evening, good evening, everyone, and congrats to the class of 2023. I'm here on behalf of the Chris File Foundation and our family to honor my late husband, Christopher File, passed away from colorectal cancer in April 2022. Chris led life with great kindness, humor, and consistency in everything he did. We plan to keep his powerful legacy alive by continuing this for years to come. Chris was an avid golfer and loved to watch our daughters on the softball field here in Hillsborough. In honor of Chris, we are excited and honored to present these two scholarships to a softball player in golf. First, um, Faith Gavron. Next, Nishant Shaw. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Please welcome Mr. John Schimpf to present the Hillsborough Baseball League scholarships. Good evening, everybody. My name is John Schimpf, president of the Hillsborough Baseball League. Um, recently, we've changed our name to the Hillsborough Baseball and Softball League. We're super excited to introduce our travel softball along with our travel baseball and our rec program. I am honored today to award two things today. One memorial for Gary Zacharu, who was a longtime member of our Hillsborough Baseball League um, that helped out in many ways, including coach on the board, Willow Field, if anybody recalls that, out there raking, making sure the fields were ready, and really being understanding of leadership. Our other Memorial Award is Tom Angeline, who recently passed away several years ago and was also a pillar of this community for Hillsborough Baseball. Somebody that really embodied coaching, being on the board and understanding our kids. I'm very excited that we have two awards each for $750. Our first recipient for the Gary Zachary Award is Graham Ross. And our second winner for the Tom Angeli Memorial is Sarah Davenport. Please welcome Kavita Contractor Morris to present the next two awards. Hi, my name is Elijah Morris and I'm here on behalf of my uncle, 1993 Hillsborough High School graduate, Ashish Contractor. I'm excited to speak to you today to announce this year's recipients of the Contractor Family Scholarship. My uncle, Ashish, started this, con started this scholarship program seven years ago as a way to give back to the Hillsborough community that our family has been a part of for nearly 40 years and a high school that he and my mom both attended. The scholarship awards are for $1,000 each and are given to three students based on their high school academic records leadership qualities, and desire to pursue undergraduate business. This year's recipients have a proven track record of strong in-school and extracurricular performance, coupled with compelling essay responses on why they wanted to pursue business education in the fall. The recipients of this year's Contractor Family Scholarships are Marcus Coyle, Grace Sang, and Sophronia Amagbemi. Congratulations on the scholarship award, your upcoming graduation, and best of luck in the fall. Good evening, seniors, faculty, parents, and guests. My name is Kavita Contractor Morris, a 1998 graduate of Hillsborough High School. Feels nice to be back in this room. On behalf of my brother, Sheesh, and our dad, Conti, I'm here to briefly speak to you this evening about the Shoba Contractor Memorial Foundation and this year's two recipients. My beloved mom, Shoba, passed away in March 2021. She was a 40-year resident of Hillsborough. 
Having worked and been involved in the community, she was known by many. She had the most gracious spirit, warm and welcoming smile, and simply put, she was a generous soul. As the saying goes, she never met a stranger. After her passing, we established the Shoba Contractor Memorial Fund as a way to continue to honor her spirit, values, and her legacy in the town she loved. The fund makes annual grants to local Somerset County charities in support of, in support of causes that were important to our mom, one being education. She was so proud to educate my brother and I in the Hillsborough School District, and for that reason, we are humbled that her foundation can award two seniors, respectively, with a $2,500 scholarship towards their collegiate endeavors. This year's recipients, Amanda Gianetti and Hina Desai, have served and made an impact on their communities through various organizations. I wanted to take a moment and highlight some of their respective contributions. Amanda, your work in Girl Scouts really stood out. As a Girl Scout leader myself for my 11-year-old daughter, I know that some clubs don't always have staying power. I appreciate your commitment to the organization and all the community service projects you have taken part in since a young age. Noble projects have included supplying donations for women's shelters, cooking for the food pantry, and creating homemade toys for animals in underfunded shelters in the county. Hina, you not only volunteered in helping local children in the community with their math skills, but your volunteerism stretched as far as Mumbai, India, the birthplace of my mother. You worked at a dietitian's office promoting healthy lifestyles, something she was passionate about via social media and supportive school initiatives. As you can just imagine our amazement when you stated that you helped with the Dietitian's Charity Foundation Help for You, serving the underprivileged community. Coincidentally, or maybe just a sign from above, each November on my mom's birthday in her honor, we donate meals for the poverty stricken through this exact foundation. You both should be very proud of your impact thus far. I know that you both will go on to do meaningful work in your future years. On behalf of my family, congratulations, Amanda and Hina, on your scholarship award and your upcoming graduation. We hope that you will always look back on your days in Hillsborough with a big heart and continue to give back to the community that began your journey of service. Congratulations. Please welcome Carlin Dunn, Hillsborough High School teacher, to present the next few awards. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm going to be presenting three awards for three different related arts um, content areas. So for outstanding accomplishments in family and consumer science. This is also, I should mention, on behalf of Ms. Callie and Carr, our baking and advanced baking teacher. This person displays a natural talent for cooking and baking. She takes her time in the kitchen, allowing the recipe to guide her, but making her own improvements as she creates. This student isn't afraid to try new things, and when the result isn't exactly what she expected, she tries it again until she gets it right. She is a, ple she is a pleasure excuse me, to work with, has an impeccable work ethic, and has been a joy to have in cooking classes. Congratulations to Best in Family and Consumer Sciences, Angelina Franks. Next up, we have Outstanding Achievements in Business on behalf of Mr. Goldstein and Ms. Loesch. The student is a respectful, motivated, and resourceful young man who is an asset to his teachers, administration, and peers here at HHS. He has received a grade of an A or A plus in five different business core classes over the past three years. This student created his own business called Central Pro Wash NJ, which was formed from his knowledge gained in his entrepreneurship and marketing classes, as well as his overall drive, hustle, and enthusiasm. There is no doubt that this student will have a successful future in whatever business career plan he pursues, and he has set a fine example for future HHS students. Congratulations to Best in Business, Corey Bessasperis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
And the final award is going to be best in applied technology on behalf of myself and Mr. Rosenthal. While there are countless talented students that we see in our department, the choice for best in applied tech this year was easy. This person has an exceptional ability to self-motivate and has a natural gift when it comes to creative problem solving. We have seen this student develop his skills throughout the year in classes such as mechanical drawing, graphic arts, and all wood tech courses offered by the district. A social butterfly, we can always rely on this student to help others who are in need of peer guidance. His, page, his patience excuse me, and attention to detail has helped him to excel in every way and will serve him well in his future endeavors as he embarks on a career in the STEM field. Congratulations to Michael Lanahan for being best in applied tech. Please welcome to the stage, Dr. Steven Jablonski, Vice Principal at Hillsborough High School for the next set of awards. The Pride of Hillsborough Awards are presented to the graduates who have developed healthy interpersonal skills, demonstrated a commitment to their academics, and are kind and compassionate towards their peers. In the amount of $500 each, the recipients are, Nathaniel Alexander Haas, Riva Hajarnas, Ryan Joseph Hand Coyle. Manir M. Heedy. Paul Guy Lerard. Alexander Lynn. Yash Parliker. Shilby Shaw, and Jonathan Waller. Thank you. For outstanding contributions to the 2022-2023 Ramrod, Hillsborough's award, Hillsborough High School's award-winning yearbook in the amount of $1,500, the recipient is Kristen A. Caruso. For honorable mention for contribution to the 2022-2023 Ramrod in the amount of $500, the recipients are Tina Dong, Ava Leach, Hannah Kunkowitz. and Carly Schwartz. For outstanding contribution to the 2022-2023 Voice, Hillsborough High School School Newspaper, the recipient is Rebecca Rice.
Please welcome Cindy Povall to present the next set of awards. <laughs> On behalf of, of John Cicerelli, president of the Hillsborough Soccer Club and the HSC board member, Joanna Sasso, I present the Billy McCaw Hillsborough Soccer Club Award. Each year, the Hillsborough Soccer Club awards scholarships to students, student athletes who best exemplify the ideals of the club, including those of academic achievement, self-discipline, responsibility, good citizenship, teamwork, leadership and individual contributions to the Hillsborough Soccer Club and community. Three years ago, the scholarship program was renamed the Hillsborough Soccer Club Billy McCaw Scholarship to honor Hillsborough native and former club member, William McCaw. Billy McCaw was a member of the Hillsborough Soccer Club for 11 years, during which time he made various New Jersey select teams. Billy attended college at Rutgers and Kane University. While Billy's life was cut short, he left a positive mark on those he came in contact with, and he and his entire family were active members and great supports of the Hillsborough Soccer Club. This year's Billy McCaw Scholarship recipients in the amount of $400 each to the following students are Madeline S. Benedetti, Tyler L. Hand Coyle. Kira Soledad Pinto. And Kirsten A. Radler. The Somerset County School Counselor Association Award is given to a student who writes an essay about their school counselor's impact on them throughout high school. This year's student essay was about the help and support he's received from his counselor and was the county's winning essay. In the amount of $500, this award is given to Marcus Coyle. This is Poval, our um, Somerset County School Counselor of the Year is Marcus. <laughs> Each year, the Somerset County School Boards Association recognizes a student from each high school in the county with an Unsung Hero Award. The award is given to a student who makes an outstanding contribution to their school and community. In the amount of $2,500, this year's recipient is Anna Delay Clara Ramirez. I have another one to give. The Italian American Club at Canal Walk is awarded to a graduating senior furthering his or her education who is of Italian descent and wrote an essay describing how his or her family or extended family and friends' Italian heritage and traditions have influenced their life and that of their family. The recipients are Kristen Caruso, Chloe Griggs, and Joey Kisimbo. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, our next scholarship is the First Responder Scholarship sponsored by the Ladies Auxiliary and HBFC number one of Flagtown. The award presented is presented to a student who is either a junior responder or whose parent is a first responder. We are happy to award this scholarship to Erin Catherine Rawls. Next, we have our department awards. The following students were selected as the Outstanding Achievement Award recipients by their teachers and subject area supervisors in the following subject areas. In the amount of $1,000 each, the winners are Outstanding Achievement in Vocal Music, Gracie Caliguari. Outstanding Achievement in Instrumental Music, Chloe Griggs. Outstanding Achievement in Chinese, Melanie Chin. Outstanding Achievement in English Language Arts, Danielle Biondi. Outstanding Achievement in French, Psychalian Joganagari. <laughs> And stay here. Uh, also, one an outstanding achievement in mathematics. For our outstanding achievement in German, Anna P. Salinas. Outstanding achievement in health and phys ed, Mark Chernoff. Also outstanding achievement in physical education and health, Gabriella Russa. Okay, outstanding achievement in American Sign Language, Isabella Cruz. Outstanding Achievement in Italian, Devin J. Milan. <laughs> Outstanding Achievement in Latin, Danielle Biondi. <laughs> Outstanding Achievement in Science, Madeline Benedetti. <laughs> Outstanding Achievement in Social Studies, Allison Lee. Stay here. Allison also won Outstanding Achievement in Overall World Blank. And finally, Outstanding Achievement in Spanish, Nor Jana Thomas Carlyle once said, permanence, perseverance, and persistence in spite of all obstacles, discouragements, and impossibilities. It is this that in all things distinguishes the strong soul from the weak. The Raider Resilience Award is given to those students who have demonstrated poise, grace, and perseverance during and after tumultuous times in their lives. This year's Raider Resilience Awards recipients are Eleonora May Clancy, Michael Donnelly, Rohan Geary, Sonia Miriam Lips, Tyler Montgomery.
So Franya Amagbemi. Joseph Gaetano Scarino. And Eric K. Shin. The Richard A. Collins Memorial Scholarship is given in memory of a former HHS administrator to a student planning to pursue a post-secondary education. This year's recipients in the amount of $500 each are Swati Bangalore, <laughs> and Vishwad Mutharam. <laughs> The Women's Club of Hillsboro sponsors three awards for young women planning to continue their education in the fields of service, healthcare, or education. In the amount of $500 each, the recipients are Hassini Wadan for science, Isabella Cruz for education, and Dia Shaw for medical. <laughs> the William L. Spieth Memorial Scholarship, given in memory of a former HHS administrator, is awarded to a student who has demonstrated tenacity and plans to pursue a post-secondary education. In the amount of $1,000 each, the recipients are Gracie Caliguiri, and Kirsten A. Radler. The Manville Hillsboro Elks Lodge 2119 Book Award is given to graduating seniors interested in furthering their education and who wrote a compelling essay about their future plans. In the amount of $250 each, this year's recipients are Corey Besses Paris, And Devin, oh, I'm sorry, and Kyla Kinahan. <laughs> getting ahead of me, getting ahead. <laughs> okay, please welcome to the stage, Mr. Jeff DeLolo, principal of Hillsborough High School, for our next. <laughs> <laughs> this is this an impressive group, everyone. It's going to run it for. The Hackensack Meridian Healthcare Carrier Clinic Award is presented to a graduating senior each year who plans to continue his or her education and will be pursuing a degree in health profession. In the amount of $250, the recipient is Abigail Nicole Masatis. I'm getting chirped over here. <laughs> The Christopher L. Lepre Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who will be attending a four-year college demonstrating uh, commitment to community service or has work experience. And in the amount of $1,500, the recipients are Rocky Belvedere. <laughs> and Devin Milan. The Student Council Scholarship is awarded each year to the students who have dedicated time and a lot of effort to student government. We give this award to students who do a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes each year. They know that there is more to student government than Spirit Night and contribute to Student Council in a variety of ways and class cabinet all year round. These students are truly leaders for their grades and role models for our community. 
This year, we are awarding three students with $500 scholarships. Congratulations to Warren Flynn. Joseph Consimbo. And Kylie Marlowe. The Santa Nisado Snyder Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who has completed their entire education in the Hillsborough school system and has demonstrated an involvement in community and in civics. This year's recipient in the amount of $500 is Brooke Summers. For the past several decades, the Hillsborough Dukes Football and Cheerleading Organization has awarded the Nick Mueller Scholarship Award for those who have made significant contributions to our Pop Warner program by donating time as a volunteer. Nick Mueller was a coach and volunteer with the Hillsborough Dukes from the time of their creation in the late 1960s and until 1983 when he passed away. While the passage of time and enrollment of new members each day means that many of our families never knew Coach Mueller, he has uh, made his impact clear. Those smiling faces can still be on the plaque each year near the high school gymnasium. And in the amount of $500, this year's recipients are Kayani Black, and Abigail Guzinski. The Hillsborough Junior Raiders Youth Sports Scholarship are awarded to prior Hillsborough Junior Raiders who participated at the youth level and gave back as coaches in the sport uh, of cheerleading, field hockey, football, girls lacrosse, or track and field, and who have met academic, athletic, and social leadership goals in the amount of $750 each. We recognize in the area of cheerleading, the recipient Madison Garjul. In field hockey, Warren Flynn. In football, Shane Donahue. And in lacrosse, Hallie Ham. The Somerset County Athlete uh, Scholar Athlete of the Year goes to two college bound high school seniors whose academic and athletic careers have been truly exemplary and whose personal standards and accomplishments are a positive model to others. This year, we recognize Warren Rosemary Barker. and Arnav Jane. I'd like to welcome on stage, Mr. Volpe, our superintendent. It's that time of the uh, award ceremony. We'd like to recognize the salutatorian and the vow victorian. So without further ado, the Hillsborough High School 2023 salutatorian for the, this class graduating behind us is Sinkalai Jogani Gari. <laughs> Psychology. I'm going to get that right. I promise. I promise. And it is my honor to announce Hillsborough High School's Val Victorian Class of 2023, Allison J. Lee.
Before I turn the program back over to Ms. Smedley, I just wanted to say a special thank you to Ms. Smedley and to all of our school counseling team for putting on this evening. Thank you so much to the parents as well. Thank you. Wow, that's like, I can't reach that if I try. Um, okay, before we end our program tonight, um, I'd like to take another opportunity to also say some thank yous. Um, so thank you so much to our, uh, to our families. Um, you heard some very heartfelt stories this evening. We know that um, so many are, of our awards are given in loving, loving memory of family members, of community members, civic engagement, um, people in the community, and we are so thankful for that. We can get that on. On behalf of all the students who sit behind me, I'd like to extend a special thanks to all of you, uh, the families, friends, um, and faculty who have given our students all of the love, support, and guidance throughout their high school journey. And we wish them and you all the best in the future as we come and see you. Um, and we'll, we'll meet again at uh, graduation. And some other thank yous, um, Mr. DeLolo already gave some thank yous to, to my high school um, counseling staff, most specifically and most notably, Mrs. Geraldine McClory, who you probably met on the way coming in. Mrs. McClory um, has many hats that she wears, not the least of which is keeping me organized, um, but she is really responsible for putting everything together, for working with our donors, um, and really making tonight's night a success for all. So we got that. Also, some heartfelt uh, thank yous to Ms. Jacobson, Mrs. Thompson, Mrs. Sayer, and Mrs. Poval, who also helps keep me sane, especially through today in the planning process. And then other community members, um, Mr. Nicholas Clipperton, who um, helped us with the music tonight. Um, very generous contributions from Mrs. Michelle Wetzel and the Ramrod staff. And special shout out to Matt Shore at Mailboxes of Hillsboro, who um, has helped us with our programs and also these amazing yard signs that are going to be available for quick pickup for all of our recipients on your way out tonight. And finally, um, we will have, we will be emailing our program, a PDF of our program to, um, to all of our recipients this evening. And we will have printed copies for anyone who wishes um, available next week in the in the offices. So we did print three per family. So stop by um, and pick up your, your programs. We'll also have them available for pickup students at Cap and Gown Pickup if you'd rather wait until then. So um, without further ado, thank you so much all for coming. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you.